Hey, hello scrappers. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, had to cut down one of these big compressors that I brought in here a week or so ago on that one money load. Probably been two, three weeks now. But uh, we go ahead and weigh everything out too. I got the scale set up down here. So, let's see. I don't know if you can see that camera's picking that up or not. Block the light a little bit. Get it zeroed out. Come back up here. You can see me muscle this thing over there and muscle it back. I believe the scale goes up to 100 pounds. So what we what's it saying? Seventy three, seventy three pounds. Yeah, no wonder it's kind of hard to pick up. Two point eight ounces. Okay, 73 pounds. How much copper is in there? <sighs> Cut this with the sawzall, or not sawzall, but the uh, angle grinder. I try to get them rubber feet off of there, but they're being kind of hard. So I'm going to leave them. <coughs> Let me, uh, get zeroed in here a little bit better. I've got a stack of little parts of this. I'm going to try to use them up. I'll be changing this a few times, most likely. I'll try to open that thing up. But you can't... You can see it a little bit. Plastic cover. Right, there's a spider in there. Yeah. Yeah, magnet sticks for that little piece. Wires on plug. Okay, we'll go ahead and start cutting into that now. Try to. I got a little bit of blade on here, cutting disc. piece of copper tubing. I'll use a saw and I'll get it up get cut it down flush. Get the second one flush also, that way it doesn't hang up on the grating as I turn it. <coughs> uh, 
guess I should cut that one flush too, huh? While I'm at it. Copper, might as well grab all I can, huh? Not much, but it adds up. Okay, now back to where we were. Those of you that are new to the channel, I cut over a 55 gallon barrel with the top cut out. That way if there is any oil left in the compressor, the, the barrel will catch it. Several to use up. So. And this thing where it matches in. Yeah, I just hope this isn't one of those that have a aluminum windings. But you never know until you can get inside. At least I haven't figured out a way yet. Uh, one guy did tell me that you can look at the tag and <coughs> if it's got high certain numbers. I don't remember if it's the high numbers or the low numbers. It's gonna be copper or aluminum one way or the other. I just cut them open take my chances. Most of them are copper, but you find some that are mainly aluminum with a little copper. to go. Hey, you 
usually helps if they don't stand on the cord. Far enough or not. Sixteenths, possibly. Quite. 
<coughs> okay, when it buzzes off the top, I know you can't see the drill. Ouch. A lot of torque. Yeah, the drill weighs four and three quarter pounds. I didn't know that. Okay, there's one bolt out of the top anyway. I gotta get pipe out of here. It was right in the way of the last bolt. Bolts. I got this on one, so that's torque. scale. I'm going to put a grease rag on it. Okay. I'm still plugged in there somewhere. Where's the grease? Where's the grease? Yeah, it's fun wrestling this heavy thing around. stuff. And uh, I need to measure that wheel and see if I get on the line and see if I can find a solid tire for it. Okay, here we have now 22 pounds 15.3 ounces almost 23 pounds I'm going to pause the video right now and uh, try to reset up where I can cut the copper off of that and uh, we'll go from there so back in a flash okay back again I think we're arranged here a little bit that off the scale. It's like a little oil soaked through anyway. Uh, get that set down there. Now, fun part. guys that are new to scrapping that haven't done any of these yet uh, you can get a cheap angle grind, grinder which I don't recommend the cheap ones at Harbor Freight if you get one go easy with it don't put a lot of pressure when you're cut, cutting just let the disc do the cutting and it may last this is a Hercules that I got there at Harbor Freight and uh, I've had it over I think over a year now, I did a box opening on it quite some time ago, and I haven't been gentle with this at all. I've been, I'll put good pressure on it sometimes, and it's been holding up really good. It's, re it's replacing a four and a half inch Makita that I used to have. Okay, so now I'm going to just put a new d disc on. I do have these go yonder discs. It's metal. I do have them on my affiliate link on my Amazon page. I like them because they are very, very thin, about a sixteenth of an inch. 
So when you're cutting these, you don't lose a whole lot of copper. So it's going to get a little noisy now as I cut this. Try to move a little closer. And a lot of you guys watch on your cell phones and maybe a little harder to see on a cell phone than it is on a computer monitor. Some get a few people watch it on their uh, on their TV too, so hey, easy to see on the TV. down mechanism is riding on the edge here so might let me all the way in pretty close not a problem finish it up with a sawzall if you don't have a sawzall uh, hacksaw will work probably just fine Try to let the tool do the work. I do have some strings and some plastic in here that I'll that I will clean up. Now I'm going to use my air chisel to pull the copper windings out. If you don't have an air chisel, then what I would suggest is uh, you cut your wires get a screwdriver and a little pry bar and pry up on it and get some channel locks and uh, grab a hold of the wire with the channel locks and pull it out that way. I have, I've got to go plug the uh, air into the compressor. I have a little pinhole leak in my uh, black air hose here. So. so when not in use, I try to keep that hose un unplugged, or yeah, unplugged from the compressor. That piece of wire or something, poke it. This one here is going to slide out pretty easy. Okay, there it is. Yep, it's kind of flat in the tire. Out, cut that all apart and get all that plastic out of there before I throw it in my, in my barrel.
So now, set our scale back up here. Actually, I can probably try to zoom in a little on the scale. Yeah, I don't know, you, guys, I think you can see it there. Yeah, this is zeroed out. Four and almost five pounds. I don't have my phone. I need to get a calculator out here. That way I can kind of calculate the price, but uh, the last of it I sold was uh, yeah. 4.14. Can't really see the point on that, can you? There. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, I touched, touched it with the gloves. Yeah, 4.14, 4 pounds, 14.3 ounces. Two more ounces would have been 5 pounds at 375 a pound, so. At least 12 bucks right there. Which isn't bad at all. I don't know how long that took. Probably didn't take that long. Now, uh, I do have an affiliate link on Amazon. Like I say, I have those cutting discs on there. I do have the scale on there, too. So I make a little commission on it. It's not my not my products. Just having the affiliate link, I make a little commission. And uh, you know, getting ready for retirement, so every little bit helps. He's in back. Ooh, wrong way. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Try to get this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you can see me. I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, glad to have you along for the adventure. Uh, scrap an adventure. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, I appreciate it. If you would subscribe, uh, the bigger the better, as they say. Uh, copper adds up. Copper's paying really good right now. <coughs> took a small load of shred in a few days ago. You can go back to my videos. Uh, took it in on a little Colorado, loaded it up Wednesday night. Scrapyard staying open until 6 on Thursday, so I thought, well, I'll take advantage of that. So, put 1,040 pounds in the back of that truck and uh, put some super springs on it, and it's ha handling the weight real well. Usually I take 500 pounds, that thing's squatting bad, but uh, it's 200 a ton up there, so I had to wait in line for 45 minutes, but it, you know. If they're 100 bucks, it wasn't bad. Can't complain too much. So, kind of learn to be more patient as I get older. And as I say, this is a hobby, but uh, I am trying to use the funds for more tool tools to scrap better and faster. Some of it's just mad money, you know, going out for breakfast or dinner or something. Yeah. And kind of help the YouTube channel along. So, and then gas to go pick stuff, stuff up and whatnot. So, I think so far this year, which I know we're already about half, almost halfway through the year, yeah, I'm up, I think I did 4,000 last year. I'm up to 2,000, almost 2,300 so far this year. So, a little over halfway to where I was last year. <coughs> Last year I quit running my ad in June. I was getting so busy, but this year I kind of rewarded it where I'm trying to stay local. So I'm still getting quite a few calls, but uh, I'm not spending an hour driving out to pick up a load and an hour back. You know, so I'm sticking closer to home. A lot of it, I, you know, if it's just a few items, I can pick it up on the way home after work. So it saves time, saves gas. And uh, 
helps out a lot. So hey, uh, if you enjoyed the video, learned anything from it, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.